Did you know that every cell of our body is eavesdropping on us all the time? That can be scary. <laughs> Hi, I'm Hans Willem, and I want to show you how our cells are like little children who follow eagerly anything we do and say. Yes, we are all like a parent to ourselves. When we look into the mirror, we never see ourselves. We only see a cooperate community of 50 trillion cells that make up the magnificent vehicle that we call our physical body and that allows us to interact with the material world around us. These cells are exactly like our children, eager to please and to serve us. They work selflessly for the welfare of the whole body. They are even prepared to die in order to protect the body. They are devoted to our overall well-being. Furthermore, cells are in constant communication with every other cell. Just like us, each cell has a conscious mind, a subconscious mind and a spirit mind. And because we are the master or the boss of this body, all cells are constantly listening to our orders that we, consciously or unconsciously, give them through our sensing, our feeling, our thinking, our speaking and our acting. We cannot keep any secrets from ourselves. They know far more about us than we do and they eagerly follow any message that we send out. Whatever goes on in our mind is immediately transmitted to all the cells in our body. And as you have heard me saying, we are always thinking in pictures. And the contents of these pictures determine what goes into our body and our cells and naturally also into our soul and into the cosmic causal or karmic computer. Dr. Bruce Lipton explained it as follows. He says, whatever picture we hold in our mind, the brain translates that picture in complementary chemistry. There is a chemistry for love, there is a chemistry for fear, and there is a chemistry for anger. So whatever we are consciously thinking is translated into chemistry which then makes the genetics match the thought." End of quote. That means that our genes don't control us. We are never victims of our genes. They are changed by our environment and it is our mind that creates the environment from moment to moment through our sensing, feeling, thinking, speaking and acting. If we are worried, guilty, fearful, brooding, jealous and so on, our cells will react to that instantly. The same applies to all negative self-talk like I'm too fat, I'm no good, I'm stupid, I'm a loser and so on. Our cells take these statements as orders and affirmations which they are eager to execute. In many revelations the spiritual world has repeatedly advised us not to discuss our illnesses with others. This is because every time we do our cells take our words as a command to reinforce the illness tiredness or physical discomforts we mention. Therefore, we must avoid saying things like I am sick, I am tired or I have this or that pain when making conversation. In the book Words of Life for the Health of Soul and Body we read, thoughts and words are forces that are absorbed by the cells and organs. An echo forms in the organism in the cells. How people think, speak and act is how their body, the cell tissues, reacts. Until now we may have totally underestimated that noble thoughts are the most natural and best medicine and environment for our well-being and ourselves. The more loving kind and divine the thoughts are, the more light-filled and healthier is our body. The spiritual world suggests that we consciously program our soul with kind, loving, divine and noble thoughts. This way the eternally existing spirit power or ether power can take up its function in our body. We can also talk directly to our cell children in a positive uplifting manner and lead them into a life of health and strength. Saying the words I love you tells them that we are aware of them and send them unconditional love and also praise them for the work they are doing. They respond to that immediately like any child would do. We can do this in, at any time, particularly during our meditation, prayer or even during our workout where we also 
thank ourselves and all our body components for having served us so well for so many years. They love being appreciated, like all of us. My personal way of changing negative thinking into positive thinking has always been gratitude. There is so much more about selves in the book Words of Life for the Health of Soul and Body, which is based on a Christ revelation on the cause and development of all illnesses. You can find a link to this book beneath this video. I'm looking forward to see you in my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe and I greet you warmly and I wish you all the best.